Alright y'all, we pulled up to KTC for uh, drop these wheels off and I mean not wheels, drop these seats off and hopefully get them done so that's where we coming to. What's good, grind schoolers? It's your boy Rob, and we back in the shop today. And I'm sorry if I look a little tired or whatever, but it's like 5, 25, 30 or something like that in the morning. Um, I'm out here grinding, getting this footage for y'all, trying to get these cars together. Um, in my last video, I had stated that I'm gonna take a break on the Elko, um, a video break, not a break of work, a video break on the Elko. Y'all still see the Elko and stuff like that, but I wanted to talk about the Impala today and all of the parts that I got for the Impala. Plus, we gotta do a little bit of running around uh hopefully dropping some parts off hopefully getting some parts and yeah man um but today's uh comment is from chevy jack 383 shout out to you homie i definitely appreciate all the love and support man and you know the fact that you made a channel just to um support me i definitely appreciate it bro um a few videos ago i had stated that um you know I went on a rant about, you know, shops and stuff like that and people doing shisty work. And, you know, I can't stand people that do shisty stuff to other people, man. Um, and the reason why, you know, I, I'm on here on YouTube showing what I love to do um, is simply because I want to motivate and inspire people to get out and do the same thing that I'm doing. You know what I mean? I'm building a car in my garage. Um, I've been working on cars since I was like 17, 18, but... Um, at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to take it to a whole different type of level, doing everything myself. I'm not saying that I will be able to always do everything myself, but at least 90% of the car will be done by me. Um, and the reason for that is just because I don't necessarily trust people, you know what I mean? Um, and like I said, uh, I'm not, I, I don't wanna go on a, 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 a tangent or a rant because I spoke about it. A couple of videos ago and if you haven't go check that video out um but anyways man we're gonna go ahead and talk about what we're gonna do today um and you know i'll show y'all where i'm at with the elko because we have made some headway and by the time you guys uh get another video of the elko i'm praying that it's painted so <clears throat> we'll see what happens um but let's go ahead and i'll show you guys what i gotta do what i gotta drop off and what's going down and then we'll uh, jump on talking about the Impala and all the parts that I got for the Impala to finally complete everything. Um, I'm going to show you all everything that's missing and everything that I got to uh, make it work. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. This is my baby right here. 79. Been had this boy since about 2008, something like that. Got it, Ken Folk, my cousin was green and black. He got it painted flat black in about 2012. Put the rims on there. That's my other baby right there. His head up. Put the rims on there. Fresh Crate 350, transmission rebuild. I remember you had that dent on your door. <laughs> I like your buddy. Let me see the dual exhaust. All right, grind schoolers. So first things first, we got the guy coat on the Elko. So you know what that means. Wet sand, after the wet sand process is done, it's time for paint. So um, like I said, it's just gonna be really pretty much like a video break um, because, uh, you know, 
I don't want to keep showing y'all, you know, sanding uh, on the car. This is like the last portion of sanding. And you probably can hear in my voice that I'm kind of, you know, I'm smiling from ear to ear because we're getting closer. Um, I got the door on finally. Um, that thing set me back three days. And shout out to Dash, man. Man, I always appreciate you, bro, because without you, I would have probably been racking my brain even more trying to figure out that door situation, man. So shout out to you, bro, for giving me the advice just to drill it out and just throw a bolt in there and call it a day. I should have did that from day one. Um, it still was a difficult task just trying to drill the bolt out. I broke drill bit after drill bit after drill bit. None of my extractor screws were working, nothing, nothing was working. Um, I just had to take my time and be patient, use cutting oil and we got it figured out. The door's on. It still needs to be aligned, so we're still gonna we're gonna use the popsicle trick, you know, to uh, align everything up. Since I was set back three days, my plan was to spend a day just trying to align panels and doing you know what we had to do there. But since uh, since that took so long. Um, I am going to just go ahead and wet sand the car and then um, plug up all the gaps with the seam tape and go ahead and start spraying. Um, so that is that. Like I said, I'm not going to keep showing y'all sanding on the car. So um, this die coat process, I'm going to just wet sand with 320. Hopefully we don't find any low spots, but uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see. But anyways, if you can see, my seats are right there. Um, I got them out of the car because we are dropping these seats off to get done. Um, it's gonna take a couple of, couple of days, I guess. Or not a couple of days, a couple of weeks to get done. But we can't ride like that, man. Seat is dirty, it's filthy, it's disgusting looking. Um, and so I was trying to look for a certain type of seat but I'm gonna just rock with these, man. These are okay, I guess. Um, and plus, you know, for the price of seats and stuff like that, I really ain't trying to, you know, spend all that bread for new seats when the seats I got go to this car and they're good. So, uh, like I said, as you can see, I got my seats out. So we have to move this center console, clean all of this stuff out, and then install the the kill mat once the kill mat is installed we'll go ahead and um order up the carpet and then we'll lay the carpet down put the center console back in um just for the time being i'm gonna make a a new center console so i'm not really like tripping on whatever this looks like um but we'll put the carpet back in we will start working on the headliner i kind of started pulling it out a little bit um, we'll start working on the headliner and then we'll start painting all the interior pieces. Now that will be done probably next week sometime. Um, I'm not really sure. This weekend I'll probably go ahead and start cleaning it out just so that I can get all of that stuff said and done. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how far we get. But anyways, these seats, these seats got to go, um, get done up. Going to take about a couple of weeks. So that's why I'm doing it now. Um, and those should be wrapped up. Uh, I don't know how to sew, don't know how to stitch. And like I said in my earlier in the video, that 90% of the car I want to be done obviously by me. Um, and obviously 90% of the car will be done by me, but the interior, that's something where I'm, I'm, I'm lacking and I don't have the time to try to learn. Um, quick little backstory, I'll tell y'all in a second. Um, I'll tell y'all that in a second. But anyways, we also got, uh the top portion of my door panels um which are going to the shop as well um so i'm i'm just gonna get it probably um just rewrapped uh got my door pull all of that's good so they're only doing the top part of the door panels and my seats and then these uh these are weather stripping pieces uh, for the for this part of the door for this part of the door you can see it's all like chipped up and you know messed up you can see like that's what it should look like but it's missing it on this side all the way to the back um so that black piece rubs up against the window so as many of you may know um 
And this is the reason why my windows were leaking so bad because the weather stripping was terrible. There was pretty much no weather stripping. There was like a, like a half an inch gap between this and the window um, and there was no seal. So the water was just getting down in there and probably just ruining my window motors um, because the window motors weren't really used that much. And over time, over the years, they just started to die um, more and more, you know, and they weren't even being used. So I'm, I'm assuming it's because of the moisture. Um, but anyways, I'm highly disappointed in these um, weather stripping pieces because they came bent. So I've had these for probably about four years. I'll say about three or four years. Um, and it's, it's my fault for not opening the box and checking or anything like that. So when I got the box, the box was bent. So it had a bend in the box. I don't know if you can kind of tell, but there was a bend in the box and it was really, really bent. Like it was curved at the front. I never even thought about it, never even cared about it. Um, and I just, you know, once I got it, I knew it wasn't going right on the car. So I just threw it in the, the back of the Elko or whatever. And it just sat there, it sat there, sat there, sat there. I just opened this box yesterday after four years of having the weather stripping for these panels and the all four pieces for the outside of the trim and the inside are all bent up. They're all bent up. And you know, obviously I don't even remember where I got them from. Um, and obviously, you know, nobody's gonna honor that four years later, of course not. But that brings me to my next point with the Impala, man. Um, and I'm gonna move this car out of here um, when it, it gets uh, like, when the sun comes up and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, um, with the Impala, I ordered a hood. The hood came bent, broke, messed up. I ordered, uh, I ordered this piece, which is the fender to my Camaro. That came bent, broke up. So as you can see, the trend is ordering parts online and stuff being broken and stuff like that. It's mad frustrating, man. Um, but, you know, I went to the junkyard and I was able to get all the parts that I needed for this car. And I'll tell y'all about that in a second, but it was mad crazy. It was mad crazy how everything transpired, how we got everything for this car. And like I said, we're gonna talk about the Impala a little bit today um, because I got pretty much everything that I needed for this car. So uh, yeah, man, um, let me tell y'all a little bit about the backstory on interior and then i'll jump right on the impala so let's get to it all right y'all so quick little story about the interior and how i kind of start to learn interior but i had, didn't learn it fully to be able to do it myself and that's why i kind of excuse me i'm driving my seats off at the shop and i'm doing my interior myself um like most of it myself except the seats and the panels um is because uh, years, years, years ago, <clears throat> um, I had an 83 uh, Chevy Caprice. And so that car went to one shop. Dude totally did like a, a, a shoddy job. And I talked about this before, but you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I pay for a lift. Dude only put spacers from O'Reilly's in there. Um, I pay for, <clears throat> for pipes. And the pipes, you know, I don't know. It, it just wasn't a... a, a, a a solid situation. My car was sitting outside in the hood, all kind of stuff um, that I didn't like with the shop, you know what I mean? And so <clears throat> dude told me it was gonna take whatever amount of time and it was a lot longer than that. Um, but anyways, long story short, I had uh, spokes, uh, Dayton's on my, on my 22 inch Dayton's on my, on my Caprice. And so I'll put a picture in here what it looked like, uh, but Anyways, I put 22 inch spokes on my Caprice, and so uh, dude didn't put the wheel on right. So the wheel ended up falling off the car um, when I was trying to back into my cousin's driveway, and we spent all day trying to figure out how to get the car out of the middle of the alley. And so <clears throat> um, after that, you know, my dad was like, yo, like, we're not taking these cars nowhere. We're going to do all our own work, whatever, whatever. And so that's what it is, and that's what it's been. 
Shortly after that, my Dayton's weren't on the car. I decided to trade them because I was like, yo, I'm not riding spokes. Like if I'm on the highway, cause I actually was on the highway just before the wheel collapsed. And thank God I wasn't on the highway when the wheel fell off, but the car was swaying back and forth. So anyways, um, you know what I mean? Like I met this dude uh, to do interior on the car. And um, the deal was to trade them to Dayton's and get my interior for my Caprice done because the, the interior was like, a brown, like a chocolate brown color. And you know, the primer on the car, as you guys saw in the picture, was uh, baby blue. And so I wanted to change it up or whatever. And so um, that was the deal. So he ended up, I ended up getting rid of that car before he got to start it on any of the interior work, but I did give him the wheels. So mistake on my part for giving him the wheels up front and whatever, whatever. Anyways, um, I got a 96 Tahoe after that. He started doing the door panels on the Tahoe. And so pretty much um, he started to show me how to do like interior work. And so I was like, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm learning something plus, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, you are, you know, gonna do it for me or whatever. So he ended up taking my front driver's seat and <clears throat> all my homies know like about that 96 Tahoe. I didn't have a front driver's seat for the longest, from the for the longest, uh, it was out of the car and he never really even did nothing to the seat. Ended up getting rid of that Tahoe before he got done with it um, and got my 96 Caprice. And so uh, <clears throat> it had that ugly blue police interior. So I wanted to change all that up. Uh, he ended up just giving me a back seat that was already done that matched my car. Um, from another Caprice that he had did or whatever. So anyways, I was cool with that. I took that. Wanted him to do the t two front seats, but he was bullshitting. And, um, you know, ended up getting rid of that car before got the interior done. So then I got my 91 uh, 50 drop top or whatever. And uh, he ended up taking the seat cover from the front seat. So I was riding around with my wife's Betty Boop seat cover on there. Um, and then he took my two back seats and had my two back seats for the longest. Um, I didn't have two back seats in the car. So he was supposed to do those and he did those, but then, you know, didn't do like the rest of the interior. And I just didn't have a seat cover on my seat. And it was kind of like frustrating, you know, trying to like get anything done. Cause this is like, like over the span of probably like two years trying to get an interior done for, excuse me, to trade in my wheels and I'm getting rid of cars before I can get anything done because it's not getting done in a timely manner. Um, but anyways, uh, in the meantime, in between time, I would go over his house and he would teach me how to do certain things, right? And so like I was starting to learn how to do interior, but the thing was, I didn't practice enough at it to get good at it. If I would have practiced years ago, I'd have been able to knock out interiors, no problem, no harm, no foul and I would be good to go and I could do it myself. But since I didn't keep practicing or whatever, I don't really know how to stitch. I don't really know how to, you know, <clears throat> make seat covers and stuff like that. So that's the reason why these are going to the shop and it's a shop that I trust, you know what I'm saying? It's a shop I've been doing business with for a long time. So <clears throat> I want them to, you know what I'm saying? Take care of it. They do really good work. Um, Y'all will see it in this video when I pull up to them. Um, I'll show their, their, their shop or whatever, their logo or whatever. And then, you know, we'll go from there. But anyways, man, that getting messed over like that when I was younger uh, has me working on my own cars. You know what I'm saying? And I hope I inspire others to do the same thing because, yo, like this this car game, <laughs> it's, 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 pretty, it's pretty challenging. You know what I mean? It's pretty challenging. So anyways, man, I just wanted to tell y'all about that because that was uh, the reason why um we started doing everything ourselves uh but like i said with interior i can't really do that but it's going to a shop that i trust hopefully that can get it back really quickly and we can just keep moving on the project but yo let's get into the impala i'm gonna show y'all a little bit about what i'm missing first and i'll show y'all what i got at the junkyard because man i was i was anticipating spending a bag just to get these parts so let me go ahead, flip the camera back around, and we'll travel about the Impala. All right, y'all. So, um, I know we haven't seen this view in a long time. Uh, I haven't been making no videos of my Impala since last month because, you know, like I said, she's been hurting bad. But 
anyways um as you can see this whole front end has been replaced um both fenders the bumper and the hood the grill all of that stuff has been like switched over to something different because uh when i first got this car uh the hood was messed up the bumper and both fenders were messed up and so the inner fender on that side is messed up and um so i had one and i don't know why i threw it away but i threw it away um and that inner fender over there on that side is biting me um because it rubs every single time you hit it like a large bump i've been trying to cut it out i've been trying to i tried to roll it i've been trying to do a whole lot of stuff and it's just ain't working like it needs to work so anyways man um i finally found a caprice after searching for a, a while in the junkyard because you don't find these things in the junkyard like you used to you used to be able to find three or four up in the junkyard but now people know the value of these things and people know that you know it's better to part them out than just sell it to the junkyard for five hundred dollars like hell the trim is worth more than five hundred dollars you know what i mean just the trim alone you know what i mean you got a lower dash you can probably you know sell that for more than five hundred dollars i'm sure people were selling them for five hundred dollars so why sell your car to the junkyard and they profit you know five six seven thousand dollars on the car when you know whatever but anyways man so in that um with the defenders being damaged and all that kind of stuff i don't know if it had the trim i think it did have the trim but it was just messed up so i decided not to keep it in hindsight i should have just kept it and bent it back or whatever tried to form it back into shape but it is what it is and if i would have known how hard it is to find all the parts for these things then i would have done that but anyways man the wheel well trim uh i found the wheel well trim for both sides um for this car because you can definitely tell the difference when the car is painted you can see this little lip um you can definitely tell the difference when um you know you're standing back and whether the car has trim or doesn't have trim it kind of looks a little bit off um also this little roll pin trim or fender trim down here um that matches down there on the door uh i found that I only i have one um i have one but um I didn't have the other one, so I found two of those. I got two of those now. This front bumper trim, uh, I don't know if my other bumper had it. I think it did. It just probably was messed up too, um, but I found that as well. That has been very difficult to find, um, the bumper trim, or the bumper filler piece, and this car looks really good like OG, like original, even with the stock wheels, it looks good, just OG. I had um, ordered, before I ordered the, or got these wheels, um, I ordered stock um, Impala wheels. I bought them for like $500, and I guess, you know, homie like probably found somebody else to, to sell them to hire or something like that, and decided to go to that direction. Um, so he refunded my money back or whatever, but um, these cars look good, just stock. Everything stock, whatever, you know what I mean? The only difference on these cars is just the stance. If the stance is right, it looks good on stocks, it looks good on wheels, whatever. What I don't like um, are the, you know, the upgrades for these cars. Some of the upgrades, I'll say. I'm not a huge fan of smooth bumpers. I will say that. And I was considering doing smooth bumpers because I couldn't find that filler piece. But... Um, I don't really like the, the, the smooth bumpers. I like, like I said, I like this car 100% OG. You know what I'm saying? Like, exception of the wheels. Like, the interior OG. I like the outside OG. You know what I'm saying? So, I wanted to keep it that way. Uh, but I was considering smooth bumpers, but now I found the bumper filler. So, now I'm good to go. These little rubber pieces that go underneath the light. You can see my light is touching my, my bumper. Um, those little rubber pieces, I found those that go between the lights and the bumper. Um, I also found the inner fender. I went to the junkyard just to get the inner fender because this is what's causing the car not to drive like it needs to drive because it's rubbing really bad um, when you hit bumps. I got that so I can cut this one out or cut it out. I can get this one out, throw that one in the trash, and then put the inner fender into um the wheel well 
So I got all the pieces and all the parts that I needed and I'll show you guys. Oh, I got the two lower air dams. I need the center one, um, but I got the ones on, you know, the right and left side. Now, uh, again, you know, in hindsight, I wish I would have examined my bumper a little bit. Sorry, my alarm cut on. But anyways, um, like I was saying, <clears throat> in hindsight, I wish I would examine my bumper a little bit more or my, all the pieces I took off the car, which I examined a little bit more to make sure that those parts were good. I just snatched it off and threw it away. Um, maybe I can go back in my videos because it is in the video to, to see if that stuff is even on there. But I just need the lower air dam in the front and we're good to go, man. That's the last piece, the only piece that I need. But I got all of these uh, out of the junkyard. I got the front bumper filler. <clears throat> like I said, I got the little air dam pieces i got that trim that goes on the fender um <clears throat> i got the inner fender and then i got these uh trim pieces now they're not a hundred percent the best condition but at the end of the day man like i explained in my video in in the beginning man i'm buying brand new parts and they're not coming like good and all right y'all we pulled up to ktc for uh drop these wheels off I mean, not wheels, we'll drop these seats off and hopefully get them done. So that's where we coming to. All right, y'all. Unfortunately, y'all see the seats here. They couldn't take the seats. Told me to bring them back in two weeks. Um, two weeks kind of bust up my timeline a little bit because I need this car to be able to drive in this car uh, in two weeks because it's not just two weeks. It will be... Uh, I drop them off in two weeks and it takes two weeks to get them done. So that would put me out late May. And I don't know if I necessarily want to do that. So um, I don't know, man. I got to figure out a seat solution. I mean, I might just buy some new ones because for the price of what I would have posted these for would probably be, you know, worth it to get some new ones. I don't really know, man. I got to hunt some down because, like I said, that kind of busts up my timeline now. But I definitely can't roll with these. I can't roll with those looking like that. Um, we'll figure it out. Uh, I'll rack my head around it and see if I can find something different or figure it out. Um, I really don't know. But anyways, man, um, yeah, that's kind of kind of bums me out a little bit because it kind of slows me down on my progress. But uh it is what it is man it's part of the game we're just gonna have to keep flowing and keep working the way we 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 working so anyways i'm about to go ahead and start west setting this car down i'm not gonna show y'all that i'm gonna just go ahead and rock through it and then we'll get done with that and then it'll be ready to spray so uh i guess 100 percent focus on the, the paint job getting it done get everything you know finalized here and then uh we'll move on to the suspension and we'll worry about the interior later. So anyways, um, that's what's going to happen. So let me get to it and uh, I'll chop it with y'all in a second. All right, grind schoolers, that's going to do it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it, man. Um, the, the seat's not getting dropped off. Um, kind of is a bummer because, you know, it kind of sets me back for, you know, like I said, my plan and what I needed to do, what I needed to get done, what I need to take care of. Um, it's, it, it kind of sucks because if I would've got the seats taken care of, they would've been done in about two weeks. Two weeks will be, uh, May 6th, 7th, something like that. Um, which is, you know, before the timeline that I want to try to get this car done, um, I would've been able to have, you know, the kill man in, been able to paint those parts and put everything back together. Um, now they won't be getting dropped off until probably May 6th. Uh, so that kind of sucks, man. Um, it is what it is. Can't cry over spilled milk. It's only two weeks, but I have something special going on before the seats are done. Um, so I'm kind of debating whether I want to just keep them until after that or, you know, just go ahead and get it done. But at the end of the day, um, if I do decide to wait or I do have to wait, um, it might push my timeline out after Memorial Day and I won't be able to drive the car. So I'm kind of in a dilemma 
on what I want to do um, right now. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'll think about it. Uh, they, either way it goes, they may be getting dropped off May 6th because I can't find, you know, the seats that I really want. I want some 87, 88 Monte Carlo seats um, to go in here, but, you know, I can't really find them. You know what I mean? So it is what it is, man. We're going to get the rest of the car taken care of. The car will be painted. Um, for me, it's going to be in a couple of days. For you guys, uh, you know, over the next few videos or whatever, um, we'll see what happens. But um, we'll see uh, how, how things progress, how it goes, whatever. But like I said, the car will be painted. Um, maybe if y'all want to see it before the video drops, uh, go check out my Instagram. I put it up here on the screen. Y'all can go see it on there because I drop all my content on there uh, before I drop it on YouTube. Uh, so if you want to see it before it happens or before the video drops, then that will be the way you do it. Um, but like I said, this thing will be painted in the next few days. Uh, we don't have much to do, man. We don't have much to do. Uh, last thing we got to do is wet sand, then it's sealant. Um, the sealant and the color can go on in the same day. So um, sealant, color, and um, clear coat can go on in the same day. So just the wet sanding, making sure we get all those little last imperfections so that this thing comes out super straight. Because like I said, um, I'm going for perfection here. I'm going for perfection here. But I thank y'all for rocking with me. I appreciate all the love, all the support, everything like that. And send me y'all's videos, man, because I want to throw y'all's projects or whatever y'all working on, I don't care if it's done up to the top, you know what I'm saying, or not even started at all, I want to throw y'all's projects in my video, so go ahead and send me y'all's videos, um, and if you haven't done so already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification, so you get a notification every single time we drop another video, and always remember, work hard so you can live free.